guys, um, I have another Lego set review here. This one is from the Marvel Super Heroes line. This one is Captain America's Avenging Cycle. Uh, 72 pieces, ages 5 to 12, set 6865, and uh, retails for about 12 to $13, I think. So there's the front. Here's a picture of the figure and the size. Then on the back, it shows the features with flick missiles and all that cool stuff. So, uh, that's the box. And then you do get a... You do get a sticker sheet. I did not apply them because I hate stickers. But, um, they're sort of a reflective golden purple and then blue and white for the motorcycle. So, those are neat, but... <clears throat> I'm just not going to put them on. Then we get a pretty small booklet. Um, Twenty-three pages, and in the back here, let's see, there is a little comic thing. So you can go ahead and pause it. Okay, so, on to the minifigures. Um, let's start off with the simplest one. There. This is, I think, the foot soldier alien. Um, very nice detailing. Belt printing, leg printing head printing, torso printing, very nice. So, he's a uh, very cool figure. Next we have the, I think, Alien Commander. He has a uh, slightly darker skin. Not sure if it's, yeah, it's different printing. But as you can see, it's like lighter body skin. Slightly different head. Not too much. Yeah, not too much different, but they are different. So, uh, that is your alien commander, and he does come with this cool blaster that he has to switch his hand around for. So, he's very cool. Next, we have the best figure, I think. Captain America. He's almost as good as Iron Man, in my opinion. Very nice printing. Very good. And the shield is very nice, too. The middle's dark blue. So, those are the figures we get. Now, the set, you do get quite a lot of figures and you get a vehicle type thing for each one. For the foot soldier, it's not necessarily a vehicle, but it's more like a little bunker. We get this um, little missile launcher thing with the stupid flick missiles that LEGO puts in every single set. So, um, but it does look nice if you had that on a battlefield or something. So, he sort of just stands behind that. So, that is that part. Next, we will take a look at the little um, floating the spaceship hoverboard thing, I guess. Um, he just stands up here. This piece, let's see, this piece can go up and down, along with these. Flick missile on the bottom. So, uh, it's pretty cool. You do get some cool pieces. You get a lot of purple um, cylinder pieces and these gold teeth pieces. So, that's cool. And it does sit 
on the two uh, side pieces. So that's very cool. Next, the Avenging Cycle. Not sure if LEGO has ever done this out mold in red, but um, these are very simple. Main piece, you put the wheels together, pop them in, you take this piece, and it just clicks like that. You have the blue light there, the mirrors, the sloped vents, and then you get that, which is for his shield. So. Go ahead and twist his hands to put him on. And again, I'm sorry for the lack of videos, guys. I just haven't been able to get too many sets. But um, I have a couple videos coming, so yeah. And then you just put a shield back there. So overall, it's in my opinion, it's a really good set for the uh, price. So... Yeah, I mean, I'm going to rate it a 10 out of 10. Um, well, no, 9 out of 10. Um, mainly just the flick missiles I don't like. But, um, yeah, so I'll upload this, and then I'll hopefully get a Hero Factory review out soon. And maybe a... Um, maybe a mock of a Hero Factory I made. So, stay tuned for those. Um, yeah, so remember to subscribe, like, and comment, and rate, and everything that you can do. Thanks.